Okay, that's off. Now I turned it all the way on. And it's just like sitting there. Hello everyone, New Medium here. Today we're looking at two videos uploaded by Unwolf Me Light Ox. I have a YouTube playlist for videos that I plan to review. Originally, I thought that these two videos were separate and was planning to watch them individually. After I reviewed the first video, I went to the channel to see if they were still going strong on ghost content. They weren't. But that's when I found the second ghost video soon after. These videos were uploaded in 2008 and 2011. The video from 2008 has 4.5 million views and the second has 17k. For those who don't know why, I want to shed some light. It's not just because the first video is more impressive that it has more views, but it also has something to do with the YouTube algorithm of the time. Ghost videos were trendy at one point on the internet. Around 2008, some of the key words were ghost, real, 100%, not fake, and paranormal. YouTube channels barely had followings, some channels only passing the 1 million subscriber marks. So one-off viral videos got plenty more views compared to today. It slowly died over time, but obviously not completely. Even before this video was released, Paranormal Activity was released. The only reason I'm mentioning this is because even though the title of the video seems satirical, it isn't. Back then putting not fake or real ghost is what got people to click on your ghost videos. So without further ado, let's dive in. First, I'm going to look at the video with 17k views. The sink turns on by itself and changes in water pressure. The first thing I notice in this video is the cutting board lying against the back of the tap. If this was faked, someone could be turning the tap with a string that leads from behind the board. As you watch the... <laughs> As you watch the video, it honestly just looks like there's something wrong with the man's sink. But if I had to actually give an educated guess to what is happening, I think his screaming could have something to do with a certain someone messing with some water valves in the house, using his verbal commands as their cue to turn the water up and down. If you can hear me, show me a sign. Yeah, like that ever works. Oh. I watched the video many times and didn't see anything paranormal. Usually with these kinds of videos, I leave them walk away and do a different one. The quality is too bad, nothing happens, and there is no evidence of paranormal or faking that isn't just speculation. Another issue as well is the description of the video because it says he was editing another ghost video. But there is no other ghost video past this. Just something to consider. Luckily, we have a second video of theirs from three years prior. This was their first video. This person is explaining what happens in this room they are about to go into. They go in and a spooky jump scare happens. The way they explain to the camera is suspicious because they make it seem like they've been in there before and nothing place. happened. We think it's a cat, but we go in there and, and stuff moves and we, we turn on lights and we look all over. There's no cats or uh, there's no mice. There's no animals at all. You can't find any. But if you just sit there and wait, you see things actually move. And it's like, it's like you know, you, you shine lights everywhere. You can't see anything. But for some reason, they are on the edge, as if something big is going to happen. 
The camera used to film this is bad quality. Probably due to the bitrate, but also video compression. There are probably a million answers to what this thing is. The simple answer is it's a ghost, but sadly that isn't the case because of a few mistakes the editor made. Look at this for example. As the ghost appears, part of his head gets cropped out by a rectangle. I'd guess that it's a black rectangle. It also affects the area over here. The ghost itself, I imagine, is cropped because it goes to the same location relative to the camera and jerks around. As and before it teleports around, you can see a shape appear behind the doorway. Some light. But as soon as it happens, it also vanishes. And using the same shape to do it. As the camera moves around, you can see the outline of a rectangle. As it can't cover everything. Reappearing shapes, even with this camera, are very hard to get as one-to-one -one as they are now, which is a very clear sign of editing. His head disappearing was just the icing on the cake. In terms of sound, no, that's this video peaks in audio a lot. Either the microphone is very sensitive to sound and can only register quieter sound, or it was something done in an editor by increasing the volume to its limit which fits into the theme for today. In summary, this video isn't real, so the odds of the sync one also being fake is pretty high. This video was short, but there wasn't very much to cover. Sadly, it gets harder and harder to find videos to review that are worth reviewing. I get some gems from time to time, but genuine videos are impossible to find because typing ghost on YouTube gives me a Michael Jackson video or 3am Five Nights at Freddy is real videos. Thank you again for watching. New mediums, real or fake? Ghost!